Thank you. Oh, it's lovely to be here. Lovely to see you all. What a wonderful venue this is. It is. Magnificent. And this is not just a venue. This is a national monument. So there's signs everywhere. There's a door backstage, and on it, it says, this door must be kept locked shut at all times. And I thought, maybe a wall do the trick there. <laughs> I had a perfect sign moment with the wonderful actor Jeremy Irons. I was sharing a dressing room with him, and he was very mischievously smoking a cigarette. And he rolled a cigarette, and he put it to his lips, and he was just about to light it, and behind him on the wall, was a sign that said, to prevent the risk of fire, do not leave irons unattended. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I didn't. I, uh, I stayed with him till he stubbed it out. So <laughs> it's great to be back performing. I've missed this. I've missed live performing. I missed all of you. I've missed this. I missed touring. One of the great things about touring, one of my great hobbies, is I like to collect Google reviews of Poundland stores. <laughs> it's a bit niche, but uh, <laughs> honestly, it's the gift that keeps on giving. I've collected a few for you. These are all genuine reviews. Five stars. Wow, loads of stuff for a pound. <laughs> I mean, I've been in Poundland stores. I know what to expect, right? You see the sign, you know what you're letting yourself in for. Who are these people <laughs> that are blown away by the pricing structure when they get inside a shop that says Poundland? <laughs> these are the people that have not thought this through. We see these people all the time. They're the ones in casualty with a compass in their forehead because they tried to draw a circumference to their own face. <laughs> Just saying, right? Here's another one. Three stars. I stole from here. <laughs> wow, what a high stat was. <laughs> Thieves got away with bin bags with a street value of one pound. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite review is a one word, one star review overpriced. Uh, round about this time of year, I like to read the works of 17th century London diarist Samuel Pepys. Yeah, and again, a bit niche. And the thing is, you don't have to read it in a book anymore. You can read it on Twitter. It's glorious, brilliant. All of Samuel Pepys' diaries are there on Twitter. But the thing is, this is Twitter we're talking about. So there's a lot of people who've never heard of Samuel Pepys, and they just think it's some mad old bloke talking in a weird way. So you get these very interesting exchanges. Here's one. Uh, this, is a, a, this is from Pepys' diary, 1665. I was much troubled with a looseness. Right? <laughs> and feeling for the chamber pot, there was none. The maid must have forgot to put one there. So I was forced in this strange house to rise and shit in the chimney twice. <laughs> And somebody's replied, been there, bruv. Been there. <laughs> <laughs>